Okay, for this project, I used Red Heart with Love, which is just a medium weight, 100% um, four ply acrylic yarn. But you can use any type of four ply yarn that you have. Um, there's 315 yards per skein, and I almost took me about four skeins. So you're going to need about 1,200 yards to finish this poncho. And the color I used was pewter. And then I also used a size K, which is a six and a half millimeter crochet hook. Okay, you want to start off with a long chain of 92. Now, once you get your chain of 92, you want to, without twisting your chain, you want to follow it down, and we're going to slip stitch into the very first stitch to form one large ring. So we just slip stitch right into it, first one like that and now we're going to do a chain one and we're going to go right back into that same spot that we slip stitch into and we're going to do a double crochet like that and now I'm going to work one double crochet in every stitch all the way around the whole ring just like this and when I get back to the beginning I still should have 92 stitches so one double crochet all the way around your whole entire ring until you get back to the beginning okay when you make it back around after that row of double crochet you, and you have 92 stitches, you want to go ahead and slip stitch into your first double crochet. And not that chain one we did down here, but the first double crochet. Like that. And now we're going to work on some rows of ribbing for the um, cow neck part of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the chain one. And we're going to go right back into the same spot here and double crochet. And now we're going to be working front post double crochet and back post double crochet. So the next stitch we're going to do a front post double crochet. And all it is is it's just a double crochet but you do it around the post of the stitch instead of the top of it. So you go right around the post like that and then you just do your double crochet. Now the next one we're going to do a back post double crochet which is so it's pretty much it's the similar but you go around the back of the post so what you want to do is yarn over and you go around from behind and stick your needle through like that and then around the front of it so now your stitch your post is on the back of your hook and then you do your right do a double crochet like that and now the next one is going to be a front post triple cro front post double crochet. I'm sorry. So we yarn over and we go around the post front ways. And then we double crochet. And then a back post double crochet. So you yarn over and you go stick your needle around the post, but you go from the back and then back through like that. That way your needle is kind of in the front and the post is on the back of your needle and then you pull your yarn through and do your double crochet and now the next one is going to be a front post double crochet so you yarn over go around the front of the post and double crochet and then a back post double crochet yarn over Take your needle from the behind the post back to the front and then back behind. Yarn over and do your double crochet. And we're just going to repeat this front post double crochet, back post double crochet, repeat all the way around. So the next one is a front post double crochet. And then a back post double crochet. Like that. F 
front post double crochet. Back post double crochet. Just like that. And you want to repeat that front post double, back post double, all the way around until you get back to the beginning. And when you get back to the beginning, you still should have 92 stitches. Okay, once you make it back around and you have 92 stitches, you should have ended in a front post double crochet. You want to slip stitch into your first double crochet here. Not that little chain one there, but the first double crochet. Like that. And now we're just going to do repeats of that row to make the, the neck of the poncho. So we're going to chain one and then we're going to double crochet right back into that same stitch. And we're going to do the front post double crochet and the back post double crochet repeat again. So we're going to do a front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch which is actually a front post double crochet from the previous row like that and then the next stitch you'll do the back post double crochet so you yarn over and if you flip it over you can probably see it a little bit better you want to go around the post of that back stitch and then do your double crochet and then the next stitch is the front post double crochet and then back post double crochet take your needle go from the back and then right around the post so your post is on the back of your hook and then you do your double crochet so basically we're just lining up the posts front post double crochet and then back post double crochet go from the back and around the post and when you look backwards like that you can see the post on the back of your hook and then you do your double crochet and then the front post double crochet and then a back post. So wherever there was a front post double crochet before, you front post double crochet again. And then wherever there was a back post, you back post double crochet again. So the posts will be lining up on both sides. And we're just going to keep doing rounds like this, repeating this same row. Front post double, and then the back post double. front post and then the back post and when you make it around you still each round you should keep 92 stitches and you just slip stitch into your first double crochet chain one and you start again okay you want to do the back post double crochet front post double crochet for a total of 17 rows starting from the beginning all the way up you should have 17 and if you fold it in half you can kind of count the rows by here's one two three four that's how I count them so 17 total and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my poncho is gonna have two points on it so I'm gonna start putting them on it real quick and we're gonna do some rows uh, the front post double crochet still but we're going to use we're going to put the two points on it so I slip stitch right there into my first double crochet so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put I'm going to chain one I'm going to put a point in this stitch so I'm going to put go back into the same stitch and I'm going to put two double crochets and then I'm going to chain two and I'm going to go back in and I'm going to put two more doubles all into that same stitch. And that is the first point of my poncho. 
like that. And now I'm just going to follow this front post double crochet, back post double crochet all the way. And I'm going to do, I'm going to repeat it for 45 stitches. So the first one here is front post double crochet. And then the back post double crochet. And then the front post double crochet again. And then the back post. So I'm just repeating what we were doing. And I'm going to do it 45 times in a row. So not counting that point we just did. There's one, two, three. This is my fourth one. And then the front post is my fifth one. And then the back post. Six and the front post is seven, back post is eight. So I'm going to repeat this till I get to 45. Okay, I've made it from my point, my first point oops, that I did, not counting the first point, 45 stitches over, doing my front post double crochet back post double crochet repeat and your 45th stitch should be a front post double crochet now in this back post double crochet in the top of it not around it we're going to do another point so we're going to yarn over and go into the top of the stitch and we're going to do two double crochets we're not going around the post just going into the top of it chain two and then right back into the same stitch and do two more double crochets. Oops. So in that back post double crochet, it was two doubles, a chain two, and a two doubles. And now I'm going to start my front post double crochet, back post double crochet repeat again. Starting with this first one, which is a front post double crochet. And I'm going to do this repeat until I get back to the beginning. And it should be 45 stitches. That's what you should be, that's what you should end up with. Just like we had 45 while ago, we did the point. Now from this point back to the beginning it should be 45 so I'm just going to continue doing the front post back post double crochet repeat that we've been doing until I get to back to the beginning where I started my first point Okay, I made it back around and I had 45 stitches between these last two points like I was supposed to and then I ended with the front post double crochet. Now I'm going to slip stitch with into the first double crochet of this first point. So slip, go ahead and slip stitch into that. Now I'm going to start another round by chaining one. I'm going to go right back into that same spot and double crochet. Now I'm going to do a front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. What I'm going to do is just start my front post um, and back post double crochet repeat again but I'm going to have these two points in it this time. So this will be a front post double crochet and now I'm at the chain two space and what I'm going to do in every chain two space um, is do two double crochet A chain two and then two more double crochet all into the, the chain space just like that now I'm going to start again this next stitch I'm going to start with the front post triple so every stitch before and after the point is going to be a 
I'm sorry, front post and double crochet. If I said triple, I'm sorry. Every stitch before and after the point will be a front post and double crochet. Then you just start your repeat again. Then you do your back post. And if you look, they're still going to stay lined up, and that's what we want them to all be lined up. And we're going to do this all the way down until we get to our next point. Just doing the front post double and the back post double repeat. Just like that. So I'm going to do the repeat until I get to my next point. Okay, I'm coming up to my next point here. And I'm just going to do keep continuing my um, front post double crochet, back post double crochet repeat. So I did a front post double crochet. So the first stitch of the point is going to be a back post double crochet. And that I just did was a front post. Like that. And now the next stitch is going to be a front post double crochet because it's the next one before you get to the chain two space. And now in the chain two space, I'm going to do two doubles, a chain two, and two more doubles. So there's two, chain two, and two more doubles. And now I'm going to start my repeat again. My starting with the front post, double crochet, right around this post. And then the next one is going to be a back post. This back post, I always get hung up on the back post for some reason. And now the front post double crochet and the back post and you can see everything's still staying all nice and lined up that's what you want front post back post and we're just going to repeat that all the way back to the beginning and now you can see the poncho is going to start getting bigger now each time around because we're adding more stitches at the point Okay, I've made it back to the beginning, and now I'm going to slip stitch into my first double crochet. And now I'm going to chain one, go back into that same stitch, and double crochet. And I'm going to repeat my front post double crochet, back post double crochet, repeat until I get to the chain two space. So right here is front post double crochet and then the next one is go right around the post and it's the back post double crochet and the next one is a front post because it's right before the chain two space and now it's our point which is where we do through the chain two space two doubles chain two and two more doubles Now I'm going to start my front post double crochet, back post double crochet, repeat. So the first one is front post double crochet. And then a back post double crochet. And then the front post double crochet. And then the back post. And everything should still be lining up. All your posts front post should be lining up and all your back post should be lining up. So I'm just going to repeat this till I get to my next point. Okay, I made it to my next point and I'm just going to do the same thing. Um, here is my front post double crochet. The next one will be a back post double crochet. 
And then the next one is going to be a front post double crochet. And now I'm at my point, so I'll do two doubles, chain two, and two more doubles. And then I'll start my repeat over, starting with a front post double crochet. And then the back post double crochet. And then the front post. And then the back post. And your post will be lining up still. All the way until you get back to the beginning. Or until you get back to where you started. Just like that. Okay, I've made it back around again, and what I want to do is just slip stitch into my first double crochet, and I'm going to repeat this row that we've been doing a few more times, until you have a total from the very beginning of 24 rows. So if you count from the very beginning, remember we did a total of 17, and then we've done three more rows since then, so 17, 18, 19, 20. And you want to have a total of 24, so I'm going to do four more rounds of this till I have a total com completely from start to finish 24 rounds. And like I said, if you grab your front post double crochets, you'll be able to count your rows. One, two, three, because it's kind of hard to tell by looking at them, but that's what I do. Four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, make sure I'm right here, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yep, so I'm starting my 21st row, and I'm just repeating what we've been doing, making the points on each end, and lining up all the front post and back post double crochets. And I'm going to go till I get a total of 24 rounds. Okay, why don't you make it back around and you got your 24 total rows done. It kind of looks kind of funny probably. This has got these two points on it. But this is going to fold down and make the cow neck. And then it's going to, that makes it look a little bit better. But that's how it's supposed to look right now. Now we're going to start the V stitch. And it's going to be the what the main portion of the poncho is so it's going to be kind of a repeat of the row that we're doing the v-stitch row so we're going to start you got so i'm going to put a v-stitch right here into the same stitch so it's always going to start like this a chain one a v-stitch back into the same spot which is a double crochet chain one and then another double crochet now I'm going to skip this stitch, and the next stitch I'm going to put a V-stitch. So it's actually going to be the top of the back post double crochet. So we're skipping this front post double crochet, and we're going to work in the top of the back post and put a V-stitch in it. So we're going to double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. So we're not working any more front post, back post double crochets. It's V-stitches now. Now we're going to skip this next stitch and V-stitch into the next, which is actually the top of the back post. Double crochet. Double crochet into it. Oops. Chain one and back into it again. Double crochet. Skip the next stitch. V-stitch into the next. Double crochet. Chain one double crochet and we're going to keep doing this until we get up to our first point skip the next stitch and v stitch into the next which is the back post double crochet from the previous row so you double crochet chain one and double crochet skip one v stitch into the next So it's a lot easier now and it, hopefully it goes a lot faster than when it's been going the poncho. Skip one, v-stitch into the next, chain one, 
Hang on. And now we're going to skip this one and then we're in the um, chain two space. And what we're going to do in there is we're going to do one V-stitch through the chain two space. So we're going to do a double, chain one, double, and then we're going to do a chain of two. One, two, and then we're going to put another V-stitch back into the chain two space. So that's how every point is going to be worked from now on. I keep forgetting to put that chain one. Every point from now on is going to be a V-stitch, a chain two, and a V-stitch. And now what we're going to do is start our repeat over. And we're going to start by skipping the first stitch. So the stitch before the V-stitch and the stitch after, or the, the stitch before the chain two space and the stitch after the chain two space is always going to be skipped. So we're going to skip it and then we're going to put a V-stitch into the next. Skip the next one and V-stitch into the next. Skip the next one and V-stitch into the next. So I'm just going to keep doing this repeat of skipping and V-stitching until I get to my next point. Okay, when you make it to your next point, we're just going to do the next chain two space. We're going to skip this stitch because it's right before the chain two space and we're going to go into the chain two space and put a V-stitch, a chain of two, and then another V-stitch in the same chain two space. Just like that. And that's how we do every point. Now we're going to skip the stitch after the chain two space and starting in the next stitch we're going to v-stitch again. Like that. And skip the next stitch and v-stitch into the next. And we're just going to repeat this back to the beginning. Skip stitch, v-stitch into the next. Skip and v-stitch into the next. And I'm going to do this till I get back to my starting point. Okay, when you make it back to the beginning, you should have one stitch to skip and then you just want to slip stitch into your first double crochet of the first V stitch. And now this is how we're going to start every row from now on. We're going to slip stitch over into the chain one space of the first V. And then we're going to chain one and we're going to do a V stitch right here in this chain one space. So I'm going to double crochet chain one and double crochet and now I'm going to jump to the next v-stitch and in the middle of it the chain one space I'm going to do a v-stitch and then the next v-stitch right here in the chain one space in the middle of it I'm going to do another v-stitch so now it's just a matter of keeping all the V-stitches lined up. Wherever there's a V-stitch, that's where you want to put your next V-stitch, right in the chain one space of it. And you want to do that until you get to your first point. Here's my next V-stitch. And then there's my next one. And my next one. And here's my next one. And now you can see I'm at my first chain two space of my point. And I'm going to do what I did before into the last point. Every point is going to be the same from now on. I'm going to do a V-stitch. 
a chain of two and then another V stitch into the same space just like that so that chain two right there forms my next point for my next time when I get back around here and then I'm going to find my next V stitch which is right here and I'm going to V stitch in into it And then my next V stitch, V stitch right here in the middle of it. And then my next V stitch right here. So I'm just going to V stitch in the chain one space of every V stitch from the previous row until I get to my next point. I've made it to my next point of my poncho here the chain two space and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to do a V stitch and then a chain of two and then another V stitch into that same space just like that and that chain of two formed my next point for when I get back around. Now again I'm going to find my next V stitch and do a V stitch in it and a V stitch into my next V stitch and I'm going to continue this putting a V stitch in the chain one space of every V stitch from the previous row until I get back to the beginning. Okay, I made it back to my beginning. I'm just going to slip stitch into my first double crochet and my first V stitch. And then I'm just going to repeat that last row that we did for the length that I want my poncho to be. So I'm going to start by slip stitching over into the first V stitch, chain in one, and I'm going to V stitch into the same space here. That's how every row starts now. And then I'm going to jump to my next V stitch and V stitch in it. And my next one, V stitch in it. So I'm just repeating the row that we did. And every time I repeat it, it's just going to get a little bit bigger and bigger at the points. So I V stitch in every V stitch up until my next point. And then when I get into my chain two space, I just do a V stitch, another chain two, and another V stitch all into the same space. And that forms my next point. And then I keep repeating, putting a V stitch in the chain one space of every V stitch from the row before. And I just keep doing that until I get back to the beginning. And then I just keep repeating it, repeating this last row. And I'm going to keep going until I get my poncho the length that I want it to be. Okay, I have done a total of 20 rounds of the V stitches and you can do more if you want it longer or less if you prefer it to be a little shorter. But what I did, I just went ahead and ended it with a slip stitch. Now you can put fringe on it if you want. I'm not going to do that. All I'm going to do is go around it with one row of single crochet just to clean up the edges. So I'm, so I'm going to start. I'm not going to slip stitch over in this V stitch. I'm going to just chain one. And now I'm going to go right back into that same stitch and single crochet. And then I'm going to single crochet in the V stitch space. And then I'm going to single crochet in each one of these double crochets. And then in the V stitch space. And then each one of those double crochets and that's what I'm going to do all the way around. Just single crochet in every double crochet and then one time through the V stitch space. And you want to work one single crochet all the way up until you get to your chain two space or to get to the point. 
Okay, I've made it up here to the point, and I want to do my last single crochet into the stitch before the point. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put four single crochets through this chain two space. So there's one, two, three, and four. And then I'm just going to start again. Make sure you get that first one. Putting my single crochets in every stitch until I get to my next point. And then when I get to my next point, it's just going to be four single crochets into that point. And then I'll continue around until I get back to the beginning. Okay, once you make it all the way around with your row of single crochet, you want to go ahead and slip stitch into your first single crochet. Not that chain one, but the first single crochet that we did. And then we can tie that off. Yay! It's been uh, took me quite a while to get this finished. Okay, one more thing I'm gonna do though is I'm just gonna go around the neck up here with the row of single crochet just to clean it up. And I actually am gonna flip my work wrong side out. That way, make it where the um, v stitches are wrong side out. That way when I flip my turtleneck collar down or the cow neck, it will be, those stitches will be right side up. So I'm just going to start like right here, kind of towards where we started before. Remember we got our work wrong side out now. And just start in any stitch. And chain one. And then go back into that same stitch and single crochet. And now just work along the entire neck, putting one single crochet in every stitch. I'm sorry my camera's at a bad angle. This thing is just so big. It's the only way I could really get it. Crochet in front of the camera with it. Just like that. And I'm going to do that all the way around my neck until I get back to the beginning. And then I'm just going to slip stitch here into my first single crochet and tie that off and hide all my tails.